baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. A critical one in store for us here. It's game one between the Syracuse Mets and the Scranton Wilkes-Barre Rail Riders. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Gerald Hayden as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Hayden. Hey, let it fly. First delivery to him. That's lifted the other way out to left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2-0 game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with a sack fly. Next to dig in, Gerald Hayden. He had a sack fly earlier. Gerald Hayden. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. So it's a two run shot to right center as they take the lead. It's now four to two. wasn't the plan you just have a meeting with your pitching coach to go over some strategy and all of a sudden you throw one and it leaves the ballpark ready to take his hacks again Gerald Hayden lasted a two run homer in his last at bat now here's the pitch Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0 and 2. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. One ball. And an 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Man, the pitcher let the guy off easy right there. That 0 2 pitch wasn't even close. I'd rate that as a non competitive pitch. Hey, get your pitch up there. Come on now. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Hopped up. Alvarez is there. And that ends the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Last half of the fifth coming up. Syracuse is out in front. Four to two. Stepping in next, Gerald Hayden. Third Gerald. Hey, get a good one. Hayden. Get a good one. Let's go. Hey, First pitch coming. Here it is. Hard hit ball to second. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Now that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and the guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not, and now we've got a couple of guys on. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and missed strike three. 
really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Now a ball rolls softly to second. Stand up, stand up. Right here, right here. The inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Mets lead it four to two. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. take our leave time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two run victory. Four to two the final score tonight Syracuse jump out to a one nothing series lead. David Peterson takes home the win. Luis Gill couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening from a partner's